Hello, everybody. This is Grace on a Journey with Grace on a Journey Channelings. Welcome to my newcomers and to all my fellow travelers. Welcome back. Your presence is appreciated. So today, I think today is going to be <laughs> very informative. Um, it's going to fill in the blanks. It's going to give those with understanding and understanding. Okay. As a matter of fact, the title is a question. But why God? But why God? Because some people who don't even believe in God, who just pretend they do and live in pretense, have the audacity now to say his name in vain and question why. Why are you calling for order and peace? Why can't things be how they've always been? Why can't you mind your business? <laughs> yes, people. They have the audacity to question. Why can't God just mind his business? Well, we're going to answer all those questions today. And we're going to fill in the blanks. So, I decided to start up. With the spread I have before me, and I'll be channeling as I go along because of the amount I have before me right now. And I want to make sure that everything is included because I feel all this information is valuable, and given the fact that. They were revealed to me. I feel that someone out there will benefit from it. Someone out there will heal from it. Someone out there will get clarity from it. And so we begin. The first card we got for today is inner conflict, avoidance. All right. Now, when I look at this card, the people on this card are upside down. Okay. They appear to be at some type of border because there's a gate and there's a flag. I am getting the understanding and there is a narrow path, right? There's a gate. Clearly there's a gate, but there is a narrow path that if you just try to walk sideways, you, you might get through, right? And so this was a hope and a dream. This was a wish upon a star. This was... I think I can. I think I can. But the truth is, God has the last word. But even though things were not kosher, because there's a wall there, right? There's a gigantic wall. And so, if you was going to get through, it's just through that loophole, right? Confirmation telling me this is not really how things are done, right? But chooses to be in denial, chooses to not see the wall and just say, But, but look at that path, look at the path, the path. I did everything the way I was supposed to, I followed the plan. Yes, I was lying, yes, I was in corruption, yes, I was a fraud, yes, I was scamming, but but I followed the steps. But you didn't respect the wall. 
you didn't respect the fact there were consequences. You didn't respect the, the fact there is a border, right? There are laws to abide by, right? Inner conflict avoidance wants to put the blame on everyone else, wants to avoid their reflection, wants everything, feels they're old, that everyone must bow down to them. An illusion of grandeur. I'm also getting. Feeling as if. I'm better than you. I am gracing your borders. Your land. With my presence. Why should I have to respect you? Why should I have to respect your land? Why should I have to respect your people, your traditions? Why? But why, God? But why? I'm better. Right? The next card. Getting and using power. As a life or death issue, use other people's resources. What that means to me. As a life or death issue is telling me. Yeah, we're going to put somebody up for sacrifice. We're going we gonna to sacrifice something today. We're going to sacrifice something because we're going to benefit because we are better. Our lives are more significant. They're nobodies. We're somebodies. But God was watching. God was listening. God was in the know. Furthermore, God has his people. Furthermore, he never leaves his people alone. Furthermore, he wished somebody would. Right? So even though it was in their plans to avoid avoid the law, avoid the wall, avoid the borders, you don't cross this line. They were willing to do that. And their goal was to get and use power. Whose power? Power that didn't belong to them. Whose power? Power. Power that did not belong to them. Power they needed on the other side of the wall. Power that they were pretending that they had that they never had. Status that they were pretending that they had that they never had. Reality check. Oh, it's time to take several seats. It's it's time to take several seats. You're being exposed. Power hungry. Clout hungry. Money hungry. Popularity hungry. Use other people's resources. Now, now it isn't now what sacrifice is. You save nothing. Or you save the little bit that you have. And you bank on somebody else's head. Clearly, 
that's a sacrifice, right? The cards are speaking today. You can't deny the cards. The cards are speaking today. Taking a deep breath now. <laughs> this speaks of the fraudulent activity. Wedding. This situation involves marriage. Yeah, I know that there's sanctity in marriage, but but we're gonna still go on that narrow road. We're we're still we're still gonna sacrifice. We're we're on a mission for power. I need her resources. So we'll do this fraudulent marriage. We'll love bomb her. We'll put her in the state of mind that this is real. Meanwhile, God was watching. See, we answering the question, but why God? But why God? God was watching. God was listening. God was in the know. But why God? Got your answer? That's why. Next card is detached from drama. See, as I was telling you, God was watching. God was listening. God was in the know. And so he wakes up his people in divine timing. Am I right? And when he wakes them up, he gave them the revelation. Oh, it's time to detach from drama. Can I be the first one to tell you when I've been there done that? My first reaction was, could this be God? See, we were programmed a certain way till death do us part. Yeah, he could beat on you. He could cheat on you. He could lie on you. He could disrespect you. He could have children on you. He could. He could be toxic. He could threaten your life. He could do black magic on you. Right? That's the programming, right? That's the program I was programming that I was delivered, that I am, that I forever will be delivered from because I chose God, not your, not your, not your programming. I don't abide by your man made laws. I abide and only abide and always will abide by God's word and his confirmation and his alone. Yes, confirmation everywhere and his alone. I don't seek your validation. I don't seek your approval. I don't seek to be part of. I don't seek nothing. All of my perks come from being on the right team. I was born exactly <laughs> where I was afforded my privilege, right? Mm -hmm. Confirmation. I didn't have to, you know, try to go through that narrow path. I didn't have to be in denial. I didn't have to sacrifice. I didn't have to focus on your power. Scam you for your power. I didn't have to use your resources. As a matter of fact, I've I've never benefited from your Imaginary resources. That part. Next card is wisdom. Wisdom is choosing God. 
Wisdom is following God. Wisdom is walking with God and detaching from drama. I don't care what they said, how they say, how they define it, how they see it. I choose God. I choose his guidance. I choose his protection. I choose his clarity. I choose his love. I choose his plan for my life. As I live in the renewal of detaching, detaching, detaching from your dramas, plural. You see, some people don't have one drama, they have a multitude. Or their dramas come in legions. Their dramas come with mommies and cousins and whores of horrors. Their dramas come in debt. Their dramas come in illegal activity. Their dramas come in, I don't even have papers. Their dramas come in pedophile cases. Their dramas come in, in getting out the closet. Their, their dramas are too much drama. Can, can I get a witness? Okay, next card is ancestors, right? Now, how the next card is wisdom again? You see... This is about the spiritual support team I speak of. God is the most high and forever will be. But your spiritual support team also consists of your angels. It also consists of your beloved ancestors. And my how should I put this? Hope for you <laughs> is that they are high vibrational because those of you with the low vibrational kind will remain in that low vibration, that low vibrational vibe confirmation and state of mind. You understand? How can I teach you to be high vibrational when the only thing I know about is being low vibrational. And this is why certain people are called and certain people are taking several seats. Certain people, certain people are called and certain people are taking several seats because they cannot teach. Because all they do know is that low vibrational state of mind. All they do know is that Necromancy work that they do with their low vibrational vibing ancestors. All that they do know is what? Sacrificing, what else to say? Trying to use and get someone else's power. Trying to use other people's resources. Low, low, low vibrational. But why God? Low, low Low vibrational. Next card is communal living. This is their presence. Their present stance in life. This is where they are heading. This is what they hoped and dreamed and wished for. Those that they sacrificed. Right? I'll come in. I'll steal what's yours. I'll take it. Oh, it doesn't matter that I stole your inheritance. It doesn't matter that I stole your life savings. Can I stress that? It doesn't matter that, that I stole your life savings to give to prostitutes. In my house of horrors. It doesn't matter that I use your life savings to pay for drugs and alcohol. It doesn't matter that I I use your life savings to pay for black magic to do their spells on you. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But God, but but why God? It doesn't matter, God, but why? Why? Why am I faced with a future of communal living in the shelter? But why? Okay, next card is 
fifth chakra. Right? Archangel Gabriel reminding us that to be in the favor of God, you need to speak on it. Okay? Those of you that escaped it, you need to speak on it and you need to say why. You need to say what you've experienced, what you've endured, what abuses were you afflicted with. The ritualistic abuse, the financial abuse, the emotional abuse, the sexual abuse. But why, God? But why? But why? I'm hearing abuse. I'm hearing using other people's resources. I'm here hearing of not following the law. I'm hearing of not respecting the law. I'm hearing of being at the wrong place at the wrong time, doing the wrong thing. I'm hearing that. What you hearing? I'm hearing it's a new day. Next card is poverty. Poverty. Said it slow. For those in that state of mind. Okay. Financial hardship. Negative change of circumstances. Financial hold. Feeling left out in the cold. Feeling the world is against you. Adversity, struggle, hardship, bad luck, homelessness, unemployment. But, but, but that sounds familiar though. That sounds like the black magic I use to sacrifice the child of God. Isn't that so? Is could this be a mirroring effect? Could could this be poverty? Could this be self-induced hell? But why, God? Why did I self-induce hell? Maybe the next card will answer. Dishonor, aggression, self-interest, arguments, battles, conflict, defeat, deception, self-sabotage, lack of communication. Oh, I'll just believe the hype. I'll just believe the lies. I'll just believe... Because blood is thicker than water. What are marriage papers? Who are you? I ride with with family. You're just an outsider. You're the outsider that I used to climb up the wall. You're the outsider that I used to get my power. You're the outsider that I use your resources. You're the outsider that was sacrificed. You're just an outsider. Next card is your destiny. Ain't that something? Let me let me let me rewind that for you. Dishonor, aggression, self-interest, battles, arguments, conflict, defeat, surrender, deception, self-sabotage, lack of communication. You ever heard of a block? You ever heard of it's over? You ever heard of I don't got time. Lack of communication. Your destiny. 
where you're going, your career. I'm hearing dismissed. I'm hearing you're fired. I'm hearing I never knew you. Next card is retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. That's right. It's time to just focus on God, to lean on God, to trust God and God alone. It's time for your yeses to be filtered through God and your noes to be filtered through God. Retreat. In your retreat, you will find God. In your retreat, you will confirmation. In your retreat, you will never be led astray. In your retreat, you will get fortified. In your retreat, you will regain your power. In your retreat, you will regain your resources. It requires retreat. It requires retreat because energy is contagious. It requires retreat because if you stay with those low vibrational bloodlines, (laughs) you will not be in line because you are no longer God's kind. Can't. You will not be in line because you are no longer God's kind. It's a right or left. It's an up and down. It's a yes or no. Whose kin are you? Come out of the closet. I'm just reading the cards. Come out of the closet. Who needs to come out of the closet today? This energy is suggesting there are those of you in the closet. On expired time. In fact, everybody already knows. In fact, you just lying to yourself right now. In fact, God saw you, God heard you, God was in the no. Come out of the closet. I said come out of the closet. Down low. Is not. Abiding. In truth. In integrity. In responsibility. Okay. Next card is completion. I see completion. I see a gravesite. I see memories and illusions of yesterday. That's what I see. Right after, come out of the closet, y'all. I, I want to make that clear. Okay. I want to make that precise. I want to make that understood. Right after come out of the closet, I see completion and a gravesite. Read between the lines. I said, read, read 
It's time to read. Okay? It's time to wake up. It's time to follow your intuition. It's time to trust God. But why, God? But why? Oh, have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Right after completion, the death card. (laughs) I said... Right after come out of the closet, right after completion at a gravesite, death card. What's your intuition telling you? This is not he say, she say. This is not what. Came out of your figment of an imagination. This is not just just some get back. Okay. This is. The energy. Of death times. Do you follow me? Okay. See, those of you who are questioning, what is she talking about, death times three? Does she know how to count? Did she go to kinder? Well, let me, let me bring some clarification to you. You see, being in the closet alone is a spiritual death. You are not in your authenticity. You are not honoring yourself. You are slowly dying. That's the energy. Come out of the closet. Come out and breathe. Come out and get in the sun. Come out and live out loud. Next card. Graveside. Completion. Next card. Death. Times three. Child, the next card is karmic relationship. Right after, let's rewind this. Right after, come out of the closet. Right after, gravesite completion. Right after, death is what? Karmic relationship. Does it get clearer than this? No, seriously. Do you need an ask, but why God? Do you need clarity? Do you need understanding? Do you need further proof? The next card saved my life. The spiritual path. When I detached from drama, right? When I retreated, right? When I respected prophecy, right? When I abided by the wisdom of the ancestors, right? When I chose to use my throat chakra and share my story, right?
when I accepted that poverty was not my portion, right? When I recalled my destiny, <laughs> confirmation, where you're going, your career. You see, this is why it's important for you to ask God, what is your soul's purpose? See, your destiny, where you're going, your career affords favor, affords guidance, affords protection. So in the favor of God, poverty's not mine. In the favor of God, unlawfulness is not mine. In the favor of God, the house of horror in communal living is not mine. In the favor of God. Dishonor. Aggression. Self-interest. Battles. Arguments. Conflict. Defeat. Surrender. Deception. Self-sabotaging. Lack of communication is not mine. I'm not called to shut up. Regardless of your black magic. I'm called to speak up. In my power. In my truth. In my longevity. And so it is. And so it is. So mote it be. Next card is anxiety. Fear. Terror. Negativity. Deep unhappiness. Stress. Burden. Overwhelmed. Breaking point, inability to cope and face life, mental anguish, guilt, regret, remorse, focusing on the past, subject of gossip. Can I add on reversal? <laughs> Can I add on back to center? <laughs> God is good. I said God is good. It's your turn now. God is good all the time and all the time. God is what? Oh, he's always good. See, when God shows up, he shows up and shows out. You may not understand his scheduling. Some of you may not agree with his timing, but his schedule is divine timing. When the time is right, when it's time to sit at your table, when the food is ready. You follow anxiety. But why, God? Why is it a no? Why can't I be happy? Why can't I be stress free? 
Why am I experiencing a breaking point? But why? Why didn't I ever try to get to know you? Why didn't I listen? Why did I disregard your warnings? Why didn't I appreciate your blessings? Confirmation. Why didn't I appreciate your favor? Why didn't I appreciate your covering? Why didn't I appreciate it, God? Why did I go back to the house of horrors? The horse of horrors. Why, God? Why? In anguish. In disgust. In defeat. In regret. In remorse. Subject of gossip. I'm hearing subject. Subject of gossip. Reversal. Reversal. Next card is. Good hearted. So due to the position of this card, good hearted. So we left good hearted because because we were attracted to the past. We were focusing on the past. We were focusing on negativity. So we we left good hearted behind. You see, good hearted couldn't compete with the the past. Good heartedness could not compete with the horse of heart. Good good heartedness was not good enough. Next card. Next card. The philosophies and laws involved. Do it in a big way. Right? And so. We disregarded. The philosophies. We disregarded the laws. And we decided to do it in a big way. I am king. I am emperor. I am the king to my whores of horrors. (laughs) Oh, the messages are coming through. Undeniably coming through. Undeniably loud and true. Yes. I choose to be king of my house of whores. Slash whores of horror. Disregarding positions of the card. Disregarding healing family issues. Right? Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. See, some of you, as I've shared before, (laughs) 
is experiencing emotional retardation. The truth may not come how you like it, but the truth sets us free. Some of you are experiencing emotional retardation, among other things, but let's stay focused. Let's stay focused. They know what size shoes they wear. (laughs) Healing family issues. Yes, I have inner child wounds, but but I could I could get by with my sex addictions. I I could get by with my alcohol. I I could get by with my drugs. I could get by by ruin, uh, ruining other people's lives. I could get by because I'm miserable and misery likes company. I could get by by sacrificing you. I could get by leaving healing family issues behind. Leaving upgrading behind. Leaving development behind. Leaving hope behind. Leaving positions behind. Leaving favor behind. Leaving protection behind. Leaving abundance behind. Why, God? Because you chose your whores of horror. Because you chose position of emperor over your whores of horror. But why, God? You just answered your own question. Mm, mm Mm-mm. Next card is working magic. Child. Somebody was working magic, isn't it? Somebody, anybody, everybody in that house of horrors was working magic, huh? Isn't it so that God knows everything? God saw it. God heard it. God was in the know. God witnessed you trying to groom and recruit for your whores of horror. God heard when you said, but all women are bisexual. Am I right? God also heard When I said, don't you ever disrespect me like that again. Okay? I don't know what you used to. But I don't subscribe to that. They could do what they do. But that is not what I subscribe to. That's just called grooming someone. To turn them out. Because it happened to you. Can I tell the truth? I'm just channeling the messages. Because it happened to you. And I'm seeing it too. I'm seeing the visuals too. Because it happened to you. You chose to. Groom someone too, but you failed. (laughs) Come again, but you failed. You failed with the sacrifice, right? And so, if you couldn't take her down. It's life for a life, right? And so since you sold your soul to demons and you couldn't fulfill the agreement, you 
you went down, right? Isn't that true? Isn't that what happened to you? And this is why you women out there that don't know who you are that were not guided through life that don't know God can I be real with y'all? Respect yourself. That same man who claims he loves you just do what I tell you. I love you. Just just do what I tell you. Is the same man who will turn you out and put you on blast. He will turn you out. Leave you with a baby two or three. And put you on blast. Wake up. The best way to gain wisdom is through someone else's experiences. And so I didn't have to wait for those experiences to escape the demons. Right? Because when I heard the call of God, when I heard the horn blowing, when I heard my ancestors calling, when I heard wisdom And had revelation. There was no need. For an explanation. For an understanding. There was no need. For let's work it out. There was no need for that. There will never be a need for that. You see, God knows best. And if he detaches you from drama, you better run for it. You better not look back. You better love yourself enough to not be a pillar of salt. Run for your life. Because you were meant to fly. Fly high. In the sky. What sacrifice are you willing to make? What habits are you willing to disengage from? What friends are you willing to block? What divorce papers are you willing to sign? That part. When you sacrifice others, you end up sacrificing yourself. Right? You ending, you end up Sacrificing your pockets, right? You end up with this child support and that child support and that one too, right? In fact, those of you that are following the crew, keep your man. Don't listen to what they're telling you to do. What they're avoiding to tell you is, let me go back some because we want to be in accuracy right here. What they're neglecting to tell you is, after the get out of the closet card and the graveyard completion card and the death card is... When you accept a deceitful one from the past, a scammer from the past, 
a fraud from the past. You also accept their baby mamas from their past. You also accept their dramas from their past. You also accept their court cases from the past. You also accept their child support from the past. You also accept sickness and disease from the past. The choice is yours. We are all able to live in our free will. All able to choose for ourselves. All able to go right or left. And this is why when the mentally slash spiritually slash physically ill population immerse themselves in their God complex, the consequences are so severe. It is unlawful to take anybody's free will. It is unlawful to manipulate With voodoo, mind control, santeria, hoodoo, whatever you do, it is unlawful. It is not aligned with universal law. It removes you from the favor, confirmation, the guidance, the abundance from God's kind. See, when God doesn't see you as mine, then you ain't got no time. Confirmation. I don't know about you, but the only people that have my favor, my attention, my understanding, my guidance, Is those that are mine. You understand? That's who I rearrange my schedule for. That's who I share my time with. That's who I protect. That's who I ride with. Because they're mine. How dare you ask God, but why? Who are you again? Who are you again? Have we ever met? Did you ever believe in him? Did you ever listen to him? Did you ever love him? But why, God? But why? Perseverance. So in your magic, you you persevered. You persevered trying to break off the wings of a chosen one. You persevered trying to defame her 
character, trying to put dirt on her wings, trying to bring her down, trying to. Meanwhile, her spiritual support team, her spirit, her spiritual support team stood by her. Her spiritual support team guided her. Her spiritual support team. We got this. Right? Mission failed. Right? Shapeshifter. Perspective. Right? So as much as you felt Oh, I humiliated her. I stole that. Nobody pretending to body. Nobody pretending to be somebody from her. <laughs> yeah, I stole that. Nobody pretending to be somebody from her. I stole that. He's mine now. Right? I won now, right? But the truth is, it's all about perspective, right? The truth is, common knowledge of his lifestyle now, right? Perspective, you won now, right? The truth is that your health is your wealth, right? Perspective. <laughs> your health is your wealth, right? Oh, that's just perspective. I want. I want. That's just perspective. We just gonna shape shift and 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 make this make this look good on me. Make. Make myself look like the winner. Make, make myself significant. Because deep inside, I know I'm nobody. Deep inside, I know I'll never succeed at loving me. So I must shape shift. I must try to steal someone's destiny. I must try to live someone else's life. I must try to live on someone else's resources. I must sacrifice someone. I must take their power. Because I believe. If I believe anything, I believe. I believe I'm nobody. Could that be the horrors of horror? Or is it the entire house of horror? Do they believe they somebody? Or do they know they nobody? I let that pause. Give you a moment to marinate on that. Because if you believe you somebody. Is there a necessity. To steal someone else's story. That's just the question. It's a question y'all. Can I ask a question? If you're somebody. Right. Do you need. To steal someone else's destiny? That's just the question, y'all. Can I ask questions? Now, y'all been asking, but why God? Right? So, that's my question. You stay over there with, but why God? I'm going to stay over here. But if I believe I'm somebody, do I need to steal someone else's destiny? Okay, that's my question for the day. Okay. 
Next card is ships. Confirmation. Ships. Travel, right? Travel on these deep waters because these realizations are deep as they get. Right? Traveling on these deep waters. Right? As you travel, it's the next card. Door to personal healing. Door to happiness. Okay? You need to detach from drama. Travel. Block. Never look back. And that is door to personal healing and happiness. That is overflowing, cleansing, nourishing, living water. That is abundance at its finest. That is connection. To God, His promise that is a bridge to your high vibrational ancestors, that is healing and happiness. Next card, people, is inspiration, new beginnings. Good news. All right. That comes after healing. Follow along. That comes after healing. That comes after detaching. That comes after respecting myself. That comes after setting a boundary. A no is a no. Is a no. That comes after you surrender. To God's will for your life, right? New beginnings, good news. Physically starting something, creative spark, new initiative, finding new passion, enthusiasm, urgency, potential, talent, growth, action. Travel, excitement, getting in the game. The game called chess, right? Inspiration. Next card is action, reputation, learning, All right? Through your actions, you build your reputation. Through your wins and your losses, you learn how to maneuver. And those of you that disregard that life is a school, that some of us are teachers, some of us are students, and other times... We're students and others are teachers. Those of you that disregard that will just repeat that cycle. Repeat that class. Repeat that season. Let me tell you what you're going to repeat. Because I'm hearing what you're going to repeat. Give me a minute. I'm getting to it. You chose to repeat. Fear, anxiety, terror, negativity, deep unhappiness, stress, burden, overwhelmed, at breaking point, inability to cope, to face life, mental anguish. You chose that. Everybody Got choices, right? 
So blaming A, B, or C, even reaching for Z, is not going to exempt you from the reality that it was a choice that you chose to reign over The whores of horror. You chose to take down God's kind because she declined on your offer to participate in the vulgarity you call a home. Confirmation on the vulgarity you call a home. She chose to be in the grace of God. She chose. Grace on her journey. Next card. Mm -mm -mm. The creation of the gaining of respect for or from. Things brought to life or light. Riddles. Fill in the blank. The creation of what? What exactly? Could it be the creation of your fabrications? Could it be those lies? It, could it be those projections? Oh, she's just insecure. That's why. That's why she doesn't want to be a member of Horse of Horror. That's why she doesn't want to swap diseases and sickness. That's why she chooses to respect herself. That's why she's accepted. She comes from a different cloth. And although the fabrications, she's just insecure. She just has low self-esteem. She just wish she was us. She just wish she had, she had our complexion. Let me tell you something I heard long, 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 long time ago. From a Respectable man. All right. A southern man. Who shared with me. That his mother once told him. Beauty comes from within. Furthermore. When you're judging a woman's beauty. You don't judge. On their shade. In the sun. <laughs> You judge every shade. If they were fair skin, if they was dark skin, because sometimes all they have is the what? The shade. <laughs> Yo, I never forgot that because true story. Like a lot of people banking on, well, I'm somebody. Confirmation. But what you don't realize, your somebody could be store brought as well. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> 
Your somebody could be could be in the beauty store as well. Your somebody could be could be Michael Jackson as well. Are you still somebody? A couple shades darker. Just the question. Are you still somebody without all that plastic surgery? Or are you just somebody now that you have a behind to sit on or balloons in your shirt to bank on? <laughs> Woo! You somebody now? You see, some of us always knew we was somebody, right? Some of us was born somebody. With our shades dark or light, with our hair long or short, with our beauty seeping from within and showing. What determines your beauty today? Because I've heard, quote unquote, that beauty fades. So are you just banking on your plastic surgery? Are you just blanking on your shade? Are you just banking on your wigs? <laughs> Are you banking on your makeup? Are you banking on your spandex outfit? Are you banking on hanging out with unattractive girls so you so you might get some points? <laughs> what you banking on today, girl? What you banking on? You better be banking on something because cause you lacking on something. I'm just saying. Somebody's lacking on the abundance, seems like to me. Can this be? Self-sabotage? Can this be? Due to lies? Can this be time to sit down? Questions. We all got questions today. Your question is, but why God? My question is, who lied to you? <laughs> <laughs> Who lied to you? Okay. Child, because they did you a disservice. Okay. Did I say child or children? They they did a disservice. Okay, House of Horrors. That part. Okay, moving on. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. You see, this comes with healing. I'm speaking to the survivors right now. Don't you ever let them win. Don't you ever let them make you believe that everybody's Demonic like them. Everybody's a thief like them. Everybody's a prostitute like them. Everybody confirmation on the prostitution. Okay? Confirmation on the prostitution. I know y'all heard that. 
I know y'all heard that. I said I know y'all heard that. Right? Those confirmations are no joke, right? So don't believe the hype. They will be trying to come after you with their spell work to make you think that you'll never find love. Nobody's ever going to be honest. Everybody's a liar. All men are dogs. Lie, lies, lies, lies from the pit of hell. Lies. No. Not all men are dogs. No. Not all females are dogs. Just the ones that lie. <laughs> that lie on the ground. That lie in every alley. That lie with their communities. I hear barking. Who needs dark food? Somebody hungry? See. There are times they come for you. And there are times. That after you was clowned. They get theirs too. Right? So it's not time for. For. For us to, you know, come out with the crocodile tears and it's not fair. But why, God? But why? But why? But what did you do? But why? But why did you lie? But why? But why did you steal? But why? But why did you do black magic? But why? But why did you have that threesome and don't know who your baby daddy is? Oh, I just delivered the messages. Mic drop. My God, 9-11 on the dot. Ain't that something? Emergency. Why is it that you had that threesome? And don't know who that baby daddy is. (laughs) It's an emergency. Who that is? That's just my baby dad. But how but how about him? That's just my baby dad. But how about him? That's just my baby daddy. Right? <laughs> Which one? Any, mini, miny, or mo? Which one? It's an emergency. We want to know. I mean, you be in all people's business. So what about your business? Do you know your business? Because you got time for everybody else's business. So, do you know your business? (laughs) Ooh, child, they just make me laugh. That's all they do. They just keep me laughing. Stay focused. That's telling me. Stay focused on your business. Stay focused on your reflection. Stay focused on checking yourself. Stay focused on them DNA results. Stay focused. Okay. Just thought I'd help you out. Expansion. Right. As you develop yourself, you expand. As you develop yourself, you do better. As you develop yourself, you don't need to steal other people's destinies because you expand on your own merits. And you inherit the favors of God. But why God? That's why. Were your rewards ethical? Were your 
throat chakra games <clears throat> were your rewards truthful were your rewards without black magic did you have to do black magic to get somebody to be with you <laughs> Yo, that's the lowest low. I mean, how desperate can you go? You got to do black magic to get somebody to be with you? And you a beauty queen too? Oh, child. Sounds serious. It's either serious or an illusion. Which one is it? Dreamweaver. Accessibility. This is, this is, I made a mistake. This is, this is someone that's looking up and realize, wow, I had wisdom. I had instinct. I had intuition. And I chose this house of horse. <laughs> this is. We need some more magic now, but in a different direction. We we need we need to get in touch in, in her dreams. We we need accessibility. We need favor. We need abundance. We need guidance. We need we need even in the back seats. We need even in on fake profiles. We need. Even calling from other people's phones. We need, we need, we dream of accessibility. Can I just talk to you? Can I talk to you? I really want to know your name. Oh, you want to know my name now? My name is non-accessible. Okay. Next card is phobia, and I'm being told clearly this phobia card has to do with codependency. Phobia on standing on your own. Phobia on paying your bills. Phobia on dealing with all those child support cases. Phobia on on your way to prison. Phobia on being exposed. Continually, phobia on having to lay in the bed you made, phobia on what's next, phobia because I can't think of any, but you could think of many. Just channeling these messages, y'all. That's what it's called. Channeling. Right? Grace on a journey. Channelings. Right? Angel of love. Now you see love, right? Oh. Next card is choice. Oh, I, I have a better choice. But God, but God, but God, why, why can't I change my mind? Why? Why can't I choose a better choice? But but why, God, in response to paths, decisions, options? Grass is always greener on the other side. Deciding to stay or go. Anticipation, relentlessness, detachment, withdrawal. I'm hearing anticipation. But he don't want me. He gonna leave me. Because now he sees me. I'm hearing the spell is broken. The spell, the spell, the spell has broken. Come again. Restlessness. Did 
Did she post something? Is there another podcast episode? What's her next move? Can I borrow some money so I can go pay a tower reader so I can know what she's doing? Restlessness. Can can I just know because I need to catch up? Can can I just know because because I know my my grass is faded, but but her grass is greener. Maybe her grass is greener, right? Next card is prosperity. Okay? Planning. Abundance. This is this is what happens to God's kind, right? When they leave the swine. Okay? God kind, when they leave the swine to continue to be fools. To plot. To do their black magic. To lie. Because God's kind knows that in time, God shows up. He shows out. And he leaves his signatures. You feel me? Next card is relationships. The beauty of do it with your partners. Exactly. Appreciate who God placed in your life. Appreciate the beauty of life. Appreciate your partners. Speak to them and all the love languages. Be there for them in all the love languages. Stand with them in all the love languages. See, God's kind didn't come to kill, steal, and destroy. God's kind comes in sincerity. God's kind is called longevity. Now, why the next card is codependency? Could it be someone just wanted you for your money? Could it be that you thought you was playing someone and using them for money and and someone turned out using you for money. <laughs> what comes around goes around, right? So how dare you? But why, God? But why, why, why aren't you punishing them for coming after me for my money? But what did you do? Who did you lie to? Who were you fraudulent to? But why, God? Why did you let them do that to me? But, but why? But why? I'm told you can answer your own questions. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. See, but but God, I need to lean on her because I need to pay my hoes. Hoes need to eat too. <laughs> I I need I need money to buy my crack. I, I I need money to buy my heroin. I need I need money for my Hennessy. I need I need money. You see, it's just not me. Right? It's me and my crew. You know how we do. 
Right? And that's the point. God knows how you do. God saw everything. God heard everything. God remains in the know. Literally and perspectively. No. Positive change. God has organized, instructed, and implemented a positive change in the lives of his kind. Perfection comes from the vine, right? Are you part of that vine? Are you his kind? Questions. Next card is sustenance. Who are your connections? Who can help you sustain? Whose team are you on? Did you ever consider sustenance? Obviously not. There were different priorities, right? And so we learn. Next card is Broken Heart. Sometimes learning comes with a broken heart. Sometimes we break hearts just to break our heart. Sometimes the tears that come with the broken heart permanently reside. Especially those that don't know how to heal themselves. Especially for those that addictions are affecting their romantic life. Yeah. Especially for those. That was doing black magic. To cause mental illness. To cause jealousy. To cause. Self pity. To cause. Suicide spirit. To cause. Jezebel tendencies. to. Co- Th- this is. This. Shows how absurd that it shows how absurd the house of horrors were. If it was true, the lies you fabricated, if they were true, what was the necessity to do spells regarding sexuality? Why was it necessary to do spells of Jezebel's spirit? Because she was fast, right? She was bi, right? She was a drug addict, right? She was everything. Negative, right? 
So if that were the case, then then why did you need to spend your savings? <laughs> brilliant idea was it to spend your fortunes and savings of unethical gainings to turn her into what she already is I just want somebody to make sense today because obviously it ain't from the house of horrors right it ain't from there. So I who in their right mind would pay for all of these different types of traits and characteristics and shortcomings when that's their kind to begin with. You see, when you work for the dark side, <laughs> let's not forget they have a sense of humor too. They're going to let you believe that you in the wind and Everybody wants to be you and overlooking, neglecting, not investigating the truth of the matter. The story's just not adding up, it's just not making sense. It's irrational. It's leaning towards emotional retardation. There's no wise mind inside. Next card. Truth. Mm. We'll set you free. Yeah, the next card is truth. So what I just said was truth, right? Structure, that's the truth. Routine, that's the truth. Intelligent, that's the truth. Rational, logical, power, authority, strength, manners, conversation, discerning, detached, head over heart, an unemotional, analytical man of authority who makes balanced judgments and gives excellent advice. Yes, she say. <laughs> that part. She say because she's in her masculine and her feminine. She is balanced. She is a fruit of the universe. She said she would and she did. She say. Next card is celebration. Harmonious. Happy home. She say. Manifesting. Co-creating. Winning. Because she's God's kind. Because she was in line. Because she said toxicity. Never mind. You can have him. You could win. You win it. <laughs> oh, 
have mercy. Mm mm mm. As you did in the past, your home base or your family, do what makes you feel secure. What makes me feel secure is my intuition. What makes me feel secure is my good intention. What makes me feel secure is the team I find myself in. All right. God's side. I'm on God's side. Confirmation. I'm on God's side. Right? No losing over here. We stay winning over here. No running over here. Stay looking over here. We shining over here. Next card is. Give your relationship a chance. Some of you already are. In your divine unions. Right. Work on your partnerships. All right. Stay in the will of God. All right. God knows best. He selected you above the rest. Right. Chosen one. Open your heart to love. Next card is enlightenment. When you put God above it all, above your understanding, and you lean on Him. You will be in the bliss of enlightenment. And you will experience it full heartedly. Next card is Medicine Shield. Protection. You see, those of you in your truth, okay, those of you that didn't have to steal destinies, okay, those of you that didn't have to lie, okay, that are called to be healers, okay, were born. With that medicine shield. We're born. With that favored destiny. We're born. With protection. And this is why. Even though. You're being threatened, even though they're doing shut up spells, even though they're doing death spells, even though they're doing blockage spells, protected, protected, protected. You are in your soul's purpose. You are fulfilling your contracts. And so be in assurance you are protected in every area of your life. 
God is on board. Your angels are on board. Your spirit team, your ancestors are on board. You are surrounded by protection and defense. Detach from drama and fly high in the sky and be that eagle you was called to be. Confirmation. Be that eagle you was called to be. Okay? They fly alone. Okay? Have you ever seen a school of eagles? No, because the schools of fishes are below them. They swim in a school of fish because that's all they know how to do is fish for their next victims until they get exposed. Until the communities are aware. Until. Their scent is so overwhelming. You know that scent of fish. Their scent is so overwhelming. That they flee. From the karma. They receive. Next card is love life, right? Next card is endings, defeat, backstabbing. But why God? Betrayal. But why God? Enemies. But why God? Bad mouthing, but why God bitterness? But why God doormat, failure, ruin, collapse, breakdown, exhaustion, inability to cope, curses? But why God rock bottom, hitting a wall, dead end? Severing ties. But why God? Good bye. Nail in the coffin. No. That was loud and clear. Death. Endings. Next card is successful, wealthy, stability, security. That's after the death. That's after the detachment. That's after the good bye. And in my case, bye. I speak in my truth. Good doesn't belong to you. Next card is... Freedom. Can can I stress it? Because this this is what I stand for. Okay. This is my passion. This this is what I'm about. Freedom. Okay. Freedom. Say it with me. Freedom. Freedom. Associations. Your circle of friends. Freedom. From those 
that oppress. Freedom. Child, I'm hearing the Glorilla tune. <laughs> Those in the no no. <laughs> Glorilla said it all, ain't it? Freedom from scammers. Freedom from frauds. Freedom from dirty. Or how they say it? Dirty bloodlines. <laughs> Freedom from Curses. Freedom from your karma. Freedom from your mistakes. Freedom from your child support payments. Freedom from your house of horrors. Freedom from sickness and disease. Freedom. To be me. Stable. Assured. And free. Next card is. Artistic expression. Keep expressing yourself. As that is your way. To healing. It doesn't matter. How they feel about it. Did you ask them to sit in front of you? Did you ask them to stalk you? Did you ask them to spy on you? That's on them right? So if you are. Sharing your story. If you are. Sharing. That you're living in deliverance. If you are sharing what God can do for others too. If you are sharing and they are invading your privacy. That's on them, not you, right? If they are spying and ruin their reputations too. That's on them, not you, right? Especially when you blocked Everyone that you knew that knew them, right? You blocked the entire bloodline, right? So all those still trying to hit your right are on fake profiles, right? Confirmation. Right? So you can't be trying to ruin somebody when you supposedly don't don't know any of those bodies in person. You've never met them before. They think they know you, but you never met them. They know. they swear they know you, but but you never met them before, right? But you're getting accused of Ruining them. But you don't know them. You never met them. You don't talk to them. You don't like them. You don't want them. But they like to. Put the blame on. On you just because. The next card. Passion you're living. Your soul's purpose you're fulfilling. Your passion. What you were called to do. Teachers stand up. Teachers. Teachers stand up. Your voice needs to be heard. Be in your passion. That is your life force. Dismiss the gang stalkers. 
Dismiss confirmation. Dismiss those who can't respect themselves. Dismiss those that can't stop sweating you. Dismiss. Child, the next card is fire. Again, passion. Wow, passion. Back to back. Back to back. So as you're in your passion, you're teaching, right? They're in their passion in creating webs of lies, in drawing weapons on you, in trying to take you down, in trying to sacrifice, in trying to use your resources, in trying to steal your creativity. You're in your passion. They're in their passion. Stay in your passion. Because they're in their passion. You understand? And. That's your strength. And what's interesting about this card. Regarding their passion. Is. All of those arrows, they got to come together. They not they got to group up to come after you. They can't stand on their own. They scared on their own. They shake on their own. They bow down on their own. They know better on their own, right? Meanwhile, you're not even in that energy. You're here to teach. You're here to heal. You're here to focus on the perspective of the brighter side of things. Next card is orphan. They feel you left them behind. They feel like you're an orphan. They feel abandoned. Meanwhile, that's the cross they gave you. That's the life story they wrote for you. That's the lie they said about you, right? You stand alone. You have nobody. You're useless. You're worthless. Right? Forgetting that God had many children. Right? Confirmation. Ignoring that you're God's kind. And that's why you have all this favor. Right? Right? Still staring, still focusing, still plotting. Next card is deceit. Still in darkness. Still evil. Still possessed. Still using sex magic. Still hating. Still jealous. And that's why they're still. As ice. And stone. Mm, What a way to end. The last, the last card for today is conflict, fighting, arguments, 
disagreements, struggle, opposition, battles, aggression, temper, clashing, personalities, egos, strikes, chaos, disobedience, being defensive, territorial, assertive. Let me tell you a joke. The joke is how the emperor that reigns over the house of horse has the audacity to be territorial. Can I just be real with y'all? Has the audacity to be territorial. Confirmation. But why, God? Why can't I be territorial? Why? But why? But why? That's mine, God. That's mine. But, but why? Because I showed up. And I showed out. And I left my signature. That's mine. Mine and mine alone. She's not your kind. Never was your kind. Nobody can steal what's mine. As I always say, when God shows up, he always leaves a signature. Right? He always makes it clear. Beaming like the sun, shining in the truth that there's separation, there's transformation, there's no reconciliation. Can I say that again? No reconciliation. One more time. No reconciliation. Confirmation. No reconciliation, confirmation. So whether you are slow or fast, Or both. You know those are your shoes. You know what size you wear. (laughs) No reconciliation. Confirmation. Be well. And peace out.